But when we look at uh, when we look at open metal, um, there are several different products that we have planned. But we always like to talk about our primary product, the on-demand private cloud. And so the on-demand private cloud is a full private cloud system, including um, network attached file storage, and it is designed to be a complement to the ecosystem today, the cloud ecosystem of today. Um, today there's public clouds, there's people doing uh, infrastructure in their own data centers, there's even the public cloud providers trying to provide um, uh, cloud s services from within an on-premise location. Uh, Open Metal, it's a private cloud system, fits in by enabling a customer to automatically spin up a full private cloud in, in seconds. This gives them the ability to look at workloads that might be specific uh, to either, uh, sorry, look at um, workloads <laughs> that may have benefit by running on specific hardware. And then to, to be able to look at workloads, either workloads they have on the public cloud today or workloads that they have in their data center to say, look, these are standard consistent workloads. I know how much uh, it's going to be using and I can look at a location or I can look at a cloud uh, solution that's more economical and more tuned to that particular workload. So we fit in when people say, oh, look, I've got this existing um, workload running and I'm paying very, very large amounts of money on the public cloud because that is unfortunately the case. But but it's typically when they look at that existing workload, that common workload, then they could say, all right, I'm going to shift this over into a, a, a stable system, a system that actually is designed uh, to, to carry that larger workload at a much more economical and so these these uh, private clouds, um, which by their nature have a lot of these attributes built into them, lower cost, easy security, straightforward budgeting, like you don't have to worry the budget is going to run away because it's a fixed budget. It's a fixed piece of hardware that you're actually working with. And so, yeah, it's a it, it fits into the ecosystem, particularly for companies that have large workloads that are relatively standard or but the company must set a specific budget around that and that they're willing to work within a hardware unit in order to control those budgets. So for me, the role of open metal in the ecosystem, in the cloud ecosystem, is to provide a counterbalance to the concentration of internet computing power. Um, you see these huge companies, they're gobbling up all of the hardware, all of the data centers, all of the networking infrastructure. I mean, if one of them has a bad day, big chunks of the internet goes out. And that's really contrary to the, the mission and core design and architecture of the internet. I mean, it was supposed to be able to withstand nuclear, nuclear war without any serious problems. So we want to give people the ability to have these same features and to have a strong presence and to not have to consolidate and go with these larger providers because they're the only game in town. Uh, we want to open up those same technologies and features to the smaller players and the medium players. Um, so you can get service from your mom and pop cloud technologist instead of having to go to the big giant guys.